Three Minute Thesis, year one of the PhD. I wanna talk about engagement and I wanna talk about abundance. So information abundance has a fundamental impact on what it means to teach, how we teach, what it's all about, and our schools are holding on to this sense of artificial scarcity. I control what information you have access to, I control what you should be reading. That model is fantastic if we actually don't have access to information. That's not the world we live in. So you might ask yourselves, why do we still do it? Well, it allows us to stay in control. It allows us to tell students what to do. It allows us to set problems for them and know what those answers are. But we need to change, right? We need to have a pedagogy of abundance, one that actually deals with the idea of information abundance. And I would also like that, that pedagogy to be about engagement, like true intrinsic engagement for students, right? Not this idea of compliance, not students who do what they're told, but students who actually care about what they're engaged in and what they're involved in. And even if you don't care about that, compliance is not going to work in online learning. You cannot give somebody a problem and have them solve it without them finding that answer on the internet. And it doesn't even work. If you want creativity and concentration and intuition, you need to have heuristic tasks. Those classroom problems where we control the variables, control the inputs, are different from real life problems, things that we actually need to learn and train ourselves to solve. And your classroom problems are already solved. Companies like Chegg have already bought the answers to all of the textbook problems that you have. But we're like, well, structured is good, right? We need to control those things. Don't we need to have clear learning objectives? Like chess, which seems to be the research that everybody loves for this. You know, there's a clear game. There's a way that you can win. But life is not like that. So we have novice approaches. We demonstrate simple cause and effect. That's how chess works. We can have expert approaches where we're constantly stuck in ambiguity like real life. If we want to have a pedagogy of abundance, I think it needs to be built on real world problems. And we need to start thinking about teaching them like experts from the beginning. So I have a couple of quick questions. What do people think? How does this resonate for them? And can we actually teach in expert ways from the beginning?